Hi, I'm Jace Wrigley with InsideBaseball.com. One of the hardest pitches to hit in all of baseball is the split finger. It's also one of the hardest pitches to throw. So that's what we're going to talk about today. How to throw a great split finger fastball. As you can see, just like its name would suggest, my fingers are split wide around the baseball. I've got them off the seams because it's important that this pitch slip right between these fingers and we don't want to have too much grip on it. Variations on the pitch can include the thumb up on the side or underneath. You can put the ball a little further down between the fingers or higher up. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. What's most important is that this ball is free to slip right through these fingers at the point of release. And in order to do that, we need to have a great snap at the end of our motion. At the release point, in order to have that snap, we need to make sure that we keep our front side nice and closed and don't pull off the pitch. Because if we do, then we leave the, our hand inside the pitch and it's not going to slip out of our fingers as it should. So keep the front side nice and closed, deliver the pitch, and make sure you stay back with your toe, our knee, our chest, and our chin in that order closest to the plate so that we have plenty of time for our arm to come through the zone and release the ball. If we dive ahead of the pitch, then we're not going to get that great snap at the end that we need for that ball to slip between those fingers. Now let's talk about getting your grip. One thing we want to make sure we don't do is tip off to the hitter that we're getting a split finger grip. It's tough to push that ball in between your fingers and so doing it can tell everybody what pitch is coming. So we got a couple of solutions. The first is to get a split finger grip before every pitch. Come set and then make the adjustments to whatever other pitch you're going to throw or keep your split finger grip if that's the pitch of choice for that pitch. The other option is this. Bringing your hand into your glove around the ball this way allows you to either rotate the ball in your hand into the split finger grip or release it and get a different grip inside your glove. So there's two ways that you can get your split finger grip without tipping it off to the opposition. Now you know how to get your grip, how to execute the pitch, so go out there and practice. But when you do, Take it easy at first. Let your arm get used to it. It can be hard on the arm at first, so you want to make sure that you limit the amount of split fingers you throw for the first few weeks while you're getting used to it. I'm Jace Wrigley with InsideBaseball.com, and this is The Split Finger.